the look is very important. I'm referring to Bonnie. As the, the look, look. Yeah. yeah. The look. Yeah. Someone asked me what I thought Bonnie would wear, and I said, well, blue jeans, perhaps. <laughs> so, no, uh, we brought on, uh, Warren brought on the most, she became quite a star, but Theodora Van Runkel, she's gone now, too. And she just was brilliant. She came up with all of these looks and, you know, the, 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 the suits and, and, uh, the dress of the time, you know, that first little dress that she did was amazing. It was just a little piece of muslin, and you could kind of see through it and kind of nod, and it was warm. You know, that's what needed to be established. And then she moved into those suits where they were just so right. Who would guess that? But I'm not. A, I mean, I love costumes and I love wardrobe, but she she really uh, created a style. Everyone then imitated Bonnie's look for quite a long time. So she was the one I would say uh, is one of the best um, costume designers I've ever worked with. And Pia Silver was the other one from Chinatown. So maybe let's switch to Chinatown, which stay as a. We, we actually screened the film as a pre festival. So Evelyn Murray, at the beginning of the film, seems a very refined people, very detached. But little by little, you manage also to uh, discover that it's also a fragile character. And also fra that. fragile, that is fragile. fragile. Oh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and I think that is also uh, because of the, of the script you have, because Chinatown is a fabulous script. and uh, Robert Town, yeah. really, you yeah. know, was mostly responsible for that. It kicked around for a very long time. Benton did quite a nice script, script as well. but. Town was uh, brought in, and he was able to bring. A, you know, well, he was a friend of, of Warren's. But um, I wanted, to, I wanted to address the. What was the first thing you said? I'm no, sorry. The, the yeah, thing I, is, how do you manage to to create this character, Evelyn Mulray, which is uh, is changing a lot during the oh, film. Oh, Evelyn yeah. Mulray. Yeah, ah. Mulray. Well, because that that's the character one likes most to play because she's got a secret, and and she then can convey what the audience doesn't know, but you know everything. You have, you guys see more than we know. You see, you do that and you know what it means. But she was, um, she had a great deep dark past, which she was shameful about, and and just, you know, always created a kind of neurotic thing, because she was always trying to hide that past. And of course it dealt with incest. And, and she was of a certain manner born. She was Pasadena. She was the elegant Los Angelina. And so she she was she used that as a shield, of course. And she didn't um, she didn't reveal a lot of herself, so that the actor got a chance to to do things that she didn't that the character didn't know she was doing, like lighting two cigarettes at the same time. And it was a sign that she was nervous, right? And Jack pointed that out. But but it's interesting because you can pop through with stuff that the char that the character doesn't know she's doing, but the actor has to know she's doing it, and she has to have those moments add up at the end to the denouement, to the, the the truth. You had in mind some. The film is set in the 30s, so you had in mind some actress uh, when you decided to play. No. Well, no, you can't, because the actress is on the page. The actress, is, you know, I mean, the character is on the page. And Town's script was so wonderful. And that combined with my knowledge of, you know, of a lot about her, because immediately I was a country girl, I, they made me very sophisticated. <laughs> Hollywood Edward does that. But I understood her interior, because we all have our secrets. We all... And we are all ashamed of them, and we're all frightened about them. But they—they're harmless. I mean, as long as it's a secret, it's harmful. But when they become, when you're open, all the can be too open. But but she she delineated the, the script delineated that kind of double duet between the Evelyn we don't know and the Evelyn we see, and. I was hoping that in, in the Evelyn we see, there was specific moments, and also threading through it was just something not right. Something she's not telling us. So that's important because she wasn't telling you everything, and I had to, I had to 
convince you that I wasn't telling you everything. <laughs> and uh, just to change completely, 